Right, let's remind ourselves of some of the drama of the last two hours of the Donington Decider. Into turn one on the inside line, it was Andrew Howard in the Aston Martin versus Darren Lung in the BMW. They went toe to toe down through the Craner curves, and in the end, it was the BMW that went through and took the race lead. And Darren Lung then set about building that gap as the battles raged on lower down. Safety car early on after Ian Duggan and James Townsend came together spectacularly, diving down towards Redgate. And on the restart, there was an awful lot going on as the cars were all bunched up. Ian Loggy got attacked from. Uh, Morgan Tilbrook, that sent him out wide, but he also was able to wriggle away up past Andrew Howard's Aston Martin, and there was more drama where Mike Price cannoned into Ian Campbell's McLaren. Then, on another safety car restart, a mistake from Jules Gounon, who fell off the road, coming up to the green flag. That dropped him down the order as Dan Harper carved his way through the field, moving ahead of Philip Ellis, who then also picked up a drive-through penalty for James Cottingham's infringement, overtaking other yellow flags. Down on the inside, Dan Harper attacked the place after place and moved himself up the order, eventually being able to outscore the yellow Mercedes. And that gave Darren Lung and Dan Harper the championship as Eric Evans and Matt Cowley's Mustang picked its way in a similar fashion through GT4 and into the lead and into the championship victory as well. Not only a win in the race, but the title to go with it. And then in the Silver Amp contest, it was all about Will Tregertha and Chris Froggers, and that got decidedly lively. In the end, a race win for Sandy Mitchell and Sean Balfe and a championship for Darren Lund and for Dan Harper. It's been a brilliant season in the Intelligent Money British GT Championship and there'll be more of the same in 2024.